Welcome to my channel, Defend Craft. This channel is dedicated to showing you designs as well as tips, tricks, and how to make various crafts ranging from hearts, fascinators, hand fan, bouquet, and much more. Today, we're going to be making this particular brooch tie. Yes, brooch ties are like ties worn by both male or female, meaning they are unisex. And they come in different designs, and of course, you can be creative and create your own. They are usually worn with lapels. Now, this is the lapel I made with that brush tie. But today, we're going to be making this particular design of brush tie. Let's dive in. That's one partially done by the side. So what you do is cut strips like what I have here. Um, I think these are measured um, 8 inches. But you can make it as long as you want. You fold them and you sew them like I'm doing. So I'm going to sew each of the strips. I fold and I sew like I'm doing. You can do running stitches, you can do backstitch, whichever one. The main thing is you sew the two together like so. Remember the strips are five in number, all equal length. You cut them as long as you want them to be. The next thing we're going to do is to put our pieces together. That's the five strips that we have folded and sewn. So you take three. The first three and slant them in a way that it forms a fan shape. As we slant them, you sew them together like I'm doing. Now we gather the other two. That's the remaining ones that make it five and slant them also forming a fan shape you know that's the way the um, lapel appears like a small fan fan so you sew all of them together watch as i sew Let's take a little break. Yes, Valentine is on the way. And I was thinking, I've taught you how to make a bow tie. You can check the description for a link if you've not watched it yet on my YouTube link. Then I'm teaching you right now how to make this brush tie. The nest are lapels, isn't it? To go with it. Now I have designs of lapels on my channel. Check the description for the link too to look at them. What do you think? Given your loved one a... Uh, Yes, a combination of a brush tie and a lapel. What am I saying? A combination, a set of brush and lapel or bow tie and lapel. Now you can have different designs. So I was thinking if you would want to learn how to make lapels, all you need to do is check the description below and send me a WhatsApp message saying you would like to learn. You could also check the video on lapel designs and send me some of them you would like to learn. Then let's see what we can do for you before Valentine. Happy Valentine in, in, in advance. Okay, back to our DIY. Okay, these are the measurements. These are the strips. You check in the description below. You'll see all the measurements. Now, this part is what we're going to put to, on the top. So the first thing you do is you um, sew the edges like I'm doing the two edges that's so that it will appear neat that's the first one done okay remember we're going to do the same to the opposite side this is how you would place it to sew
still in the spirit of sewing the top, what we do is you fold the two edges so it appears almost like a pyramid sort of. Then you sew the top also like I'm doing. Keep watching and learning. Next, we're going to take our, um, what do we call that again, La lapel pin. This is the lapel pin. We're not going to do it like a bow tie. It's a lapel pin. That's why it's called a brooch tie because the pin is actually like what you use on brooches. So I'm sewing it now to the back of the, of the brooch tie. It's time to put out the cutout stone. We'll be making use of B7000 to glue it. Then we'll cut out a circular material to cover up the back. That's it. Our brush tie is ready. Yeah, it actually even looks good on my gown. Now. 